Hi, it's Dr. Elijah Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. Why do people typically have so much trouble losing weight after age 40? Well, with busy schedules and loads, processed fast foods everywhere, losing weight after 40 can seem like a pretty difficult task. It's no wonder so many people ask this question, how can I boost my metabolism after 40? Well, it's a common assumption that your metabolism slows down after your 20s or 30s. New research actually suggests that it isn't necessarily true. It's how uh, it's now thought that you burn roughly the same calories from your 20s until your 60s, which means losing weight after 40 has more to do with lifestyle than your genetics or age. When it comes to trimming down, keeping fit, and losing belly fat, exercising and eating a healthy diet are both key, but also getting enough sleep and keeping stress in check is important too. Recent re research shows that on average adults gain about 1 to 2 pounds per year during adulthood. This might not seem like a lot, but it adds up over time. Creeping weight gain at this rate equates to gaining about 10 to 20 extra pounds each decade. So from someone's early 20s to early 50s, it could mean carrying around an extra 20, 30, or even 40 pounds. Women who struggle to lose weight during middle age often blame it on their hormones or slowing metabolisms, and weight gain during menopause is very common. Statistics show that many women tend to gain about 5 to 15 pounds on average during and shortly after menopause. However, there's a big range seen among menopausal and postmenopausal women, ranging from 3 to 30 pounds depending on their lifestyle. A pivotal August 2021 study published in the journal Science, which included data from roughly 6,500 people ranging from infants to 95-year-olds, discovered that the main reason people gain weight in midlife is because they eat more calories than they burn, not because their metabolism slows down. It also found that there were no real differences between the metabolic rates of men and women after controlling for other factors like body size. Many uh, the main findings of the study, which focused on weight gain across one's lifestyle due to changes in metabolism, found that metabolic rates can roughly be divided into four distinct stages of life. Up until age one, calorie burning is at its peak. From age one to about age 20, metabolism gradually slows by about 3% a year. But from age 20 to 60, one's metabolic rate roughly remains steady. And after age 60, one's met metabolism declines by about 1% a year. So why is it difficult to lose weight after 40? Well, there's a number of reason, reasons here that people might struggle to maintain a healthy weight, like reduced muscle mass, mostly due to having a sedentary lifestyle and com completing less daily physical activities, high calorie consumption due to eating a lot of processed foods or ultra-processed foods, low intake of antioxidants like fiber, vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats like omega-3s, insulin resistance too, which often interferes with your appetite and can lead to more weight gain, chronic stress and depression, which increases cortisol and other stress hormones, sleep deprivation, which interferes with normal metabolic functions and is associated with obesity, hypertension and other metabolic issues, and also use of some medications like antidepressants that can contribute to weight gain. So contrary to popular belief, women experience, experiencing menopause don't necessarily experience a decline in their metabolisms, according to the study uh, that I just talked about, which means shifting hormones shouldn't be blamed for weight gain, at least not completely. So these are some of the reasons that um, people have trouble losing weight after 40. And in the next video, I'm going to go over some, some uh, techniques and tactics that you can use to help you to lose weight um, if you're over 40 and keep it off as well. Check us out at newhopechiropractic.com and have a healthy day.